Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, sent a condolence letter to the President of Iran, Hassan Rouhani. The Treaty of Versailles and the Trial of Criminal Turks. Call for reality. Prime Minister of Western Armenia, Garnik Sarkisyan. Armenia views the recognition of genocide against Armenians in context of global security. National Council of Western Armenia. The trilateral meeting of the presidents of Russia, Iran and Turkey was held in Sochi. President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, sent a condolence letter to the President of the Islamic Republic of Iran, Hassan Rouhani, connected with the terrorist act on February 13 in the Iranian province, which caused numerous casualties and injuries. President Armenak Abrahamian expressed his deep condolence to President Rouhani and people of Iran and wished endurance and patience to the relatives and friends of the victims. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the Treaty of Versailles and the trial of criminal young Turks. After the flight to Germany of the main responsible bodies of the Union and Progress Committee, the Turkish liberal government, which came to power after their rule on December 16, 1918, decided to set up a commission to investigate and prosecute the circumstances of the massacres against Armenians and their involvement in the war. We will represent different secret telegrams and official documents, the beginning and the chorus of the works. We will also cover the launch of the Versailles Peace Conference, referring to the process and its results. It is worth mentioning that the materials are unique and have not been published before. The full version of the materials are available in our official website. In connection with the Declaration of France as the National Day of Commemoration of Armenian Genocide, Garnik Sarkisyan, the Prime Minister of Western Armenia, represents an article according to which, with this step, French authorities did not contribute to the welfare of all Armenians. Prime Minister Garnik Sarkisyan represented his opinion connected with this issue. He mentioned, We have no problem with this decision of France. We are even grateful for it. The only problem is the infinite ignorance of our nation over our national problems. For example, most of the people are are unaware of the fact that if the French state today sincerely wants to do something for the welfare of Armenians, it can simply bring to life a series of documents that have been signed and accepted by the political and legal force. Among them is the recognition of the Armenian state in the territories of Western Armenia on January 19 of 1920, with the permission of opening embassy of Western Armenia in Paris, as well as implement the Treaty of Service, implement it through the United Nations in relation to Western Armenia, representing the territory of Western Armenia by the arbitral award of Wilson and also other real steps. So in our article we urge all Armenian people to come to consciousness and be aware of what to expect from the French state today. The French authorities are deceiving not only Armenians but also their people. The reality is that if France takes real and serious steps, respecting its international obligations, especially with regard to the Armenians, it will receive the support of not only Armenians and its own people, but also of all Europe. Republic of Armenia views the recognition and condemnation of the genocide against Armenians in the context of ensuring global security, mentioned Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan at the National Assembly. In his speech, he said, We do not view this matter only in the context of Armenian-Turkish relationships. We saw it in the context of global prevention of genocide and global security because it is obvious that recognition and condemnation of genocide are the most effective means of preventing new genocide, and we should be the most proactive in this path. Let us remind that on August 23 of 1990, the genocide against Armenians in Western Armenia was recognized by Article 11 of the Declaration of Independence of the Republic of Armenia. Article 11. The Republic of Armenia supports the international recognition of the Armenian genocide of 1915 in Ottoman Turkey and Western Armenia. On 12 January of 2010, the decision by the Armenian Constitutional Court regarding the constitutionality of protocols further complicated the ratification process. Referring to an intergovernmental body mentioned in the protocols, the court ruled that with the reference to Article 11 of the Declaration on Independence of 23 August, naming such body was unconstitutional. 
There are provocations in Javak which are aimed at sharpening fragile interethnic relations and distracting foreigners living in Georgia from their national and civil issues. This does not contribute to the creation of harmonious atmosphere in the country and the normal development of the country. The National Council of Western Armenia is deeply concerned by such manifestations and asks authorities to be sober. With the push of third powers there were held in Tbilisi different demonstrations with the unlawful demand to dismantle the statue. This refers to the statue of Mikhail Avakian, which has been recently reopened in the Akhakalaki region. Mikhail Avakian was a freedom fighter and deserved son of Armenian nation. The problem is that some miserable and destructive forces need to spread animity among multinational Georgian society in order to gain some benefit, and it seems there are certain geopolitical interests here. This has provoked the anger of all Armenians because the demand is miserable and illegal. The installation of the statue is not directed against the Azeris at all. Armenia Armenians have always wanted to have normal neighboring relations in our struggling sphere and has a tendency to protect our legitimate rights and the homeland that is accepted throughout the international community. The trilateral meeting of the presidents of Russia, Iran, and Turkey on the Syrian issue took place in Sochi. During the press conference following the trilateral meeting, Russian president mentioned that only Syrian people should decide their future. The establishment of the armistice should not have an impact on the fight against terrorism. Creating a demilitarized zone in Idlib is a temporary measure. In this period, terrorism should be completely eliminated, mentioned Russian president in his speech. President of the Islamic Republic of Iran, Hassan Rouhani, noted that the the eastern part of the Euphrates and Idlib should be cleaned and should be cleaned and returned to the Syrian government. Touching upon the issue of Syrian Kurds, the president of the Islamic Republic of Iran said, the Kurdish people are the part of Syrian people and they must have rights. The east and north of Syria must cooperate with the international community. We understand Turkey's concerns regarding this issue. There is an Adana agreement between Turkey and Syria and Iran as in the past with Russia will try to do everything possible. The Turkish president in his turn noted that they closely cooperate with Russia and the on this issue. This was all for today. Goodbye.